we're at the Jurtvesh Forest Park, where a unique eco-education program is taking place. Trees Under the Microscope is taking students out of the classroom and into the woods to learn about nature up close. This initiative is a component of EcoSchool's original environmental education program, led by Nelly Ronyan. It transforms the forest into a living laboratory. By combining hiking with hands-on science, the program creates an engaging and immersive learning experience outside of the textbooks, encouraging an emotional connection with the environment. The project combines natural science and environmental education. Why did we prioritize this combination? So that children don't just hear prohibitions, like you can't cut trees, but understand what processes occur in trees appreciate them, and then make their own informed decisions. This philosophy of fostering conscious care over simple rule following resonates with the teachers involved. Christine Khachatrian, a teacher at the Apovian N. Vanyan Primary School No. 5, sees this approach as key to building a sense of responsibility toward nature. If today's generation is very close to nature, sees it with their own eyes, touches it, then they will understand it, love it, and be able to both keep nature clean and feel the pleasure of being in nature, as well as think about nature's future development, work to bring them happiness. And the students are already absorbing these lessons. When asked, they eagerly explain the critical role trees play with a clarity that reflects the program's immediate impact. We shouldn't harm nature, because these trees could disappear, and we depend on them for our survival. I would say that trees are very useful in our lives. They provide oxygen. If there were no trees, the climate would become terrible. The temperature of our planet would rise, flowers would wither, all vegetation would disappear entirely, and animals would flee from their habitats. Everything would be lost. For Nelly, the true heroes of this project are the trees themselves. She believes that by learning to protect Armenia's nature, students will make a conscious choice to love and care for their homeland as a whole. The project's main goal is to spark curiosity in children, curiosity about nature, our surrounding environment, the processes occurring in the natural environment, what we see with our eyes, and what we don't see. Through this initiative, Nelly aims to spark her students' curiosity about natural sciences, believing it is the essential tool for discovering the world. Each class begins with a short hike, where she teaches them to identify different types of trees. I learned that trees, for example spruce trees, are different from pines. Spruces grow their branches downward, while pines grow their branches upward. We saw many trees, pine trees, and from those pine trees we also looked at the leaves through the microscope. When I looked, it resembled tiny green-colored leaves. Today we studied all these trees, conducted interesting experiments, and researched the trees. We can say that nature shouldn't be polluted. We must must treat it well. Keep it clean. The next phase brought the laboratory into the forest. By looking under the microscopes, students gained a scientifically grounded understanding of what happens inside trees, revealing why these organisms are so important. In this experiment we conducted, we dripped water, added iodine to it, placed a thin layer of onion on top, and observed it under a microscope. It was very interesting. I saw mank, uh, yoda. Today, we mixed iodine and water together because we wanted to see the onion cells. Since onion cells are transparent, we added iodine so they would take on color, so to speak, and we could see them. This was mine. Here, Everything was interesting to me, but the most interesting part was looking through the microscope. For founder Nelly, accessing this equipment was the project's biggest initial hurdle. It began with a single, limited microscope for a pilot program with 200 children. Of course, our biggest challenge was acquiring laboratory equipment, microscopes specifically, because we didn't have the technical resources to organize the project as effectively and engagingly as possible for the children. 
The success of that trial run attracted crucial support, with the Eco School winning a grant from the Awesome Foundation. This funding allowed them to purchase a more advanced microscope, opening the doors to new opportunities. We now have a trinocular microscope, and we can follow and study what we observe under the microscope on a screen. The project has since grown to include nearly 550 children, including 178 displaced from Artsakh. It has reached students from public and private schools, a vocational college, and even the educational complex for children with hearing impairments. Due to the large number of applicants, Nelly decided to extend the project into November. We have a major goal to include more and more children in the project. At this stage, we've involved children living in Yerevan, Kotaik region, and Gekharkunik region. In the future, we want to expand to other regions and increase our geographic reach. The project is being implemented primarily pro bono, with volunteers helping to make it a reality. A small fundraiser was organized on the Re-Armenia platform, helping to cover children's transportation, meals, two assistance fees, and marketing expenses. You know, the idea existed for a very long time, probably born from a great dream, because we all want to see children happy while learning. We want them to always be delighted by the results of their work, for their work to bring them happiness. For the students, the difference between learning in a forest and learning in a classroom is profound. I was weak in other subjects, but I was very good at nature class. But in nature lessons at school, I never learned about trees. But there are so many different types of trees in Armenia. We also use microscopes in the classroom. But here it's more detailed and clearer because we prepare the samples ourselves and observe them under the microscope. You see everything with your own eyes, and everything is understood more vividly. It's easier to imagine it all.